Good evening, everybody. I'm CJ Ward. And I'm Beth Farnsworth. We begin at five with the state funding. More specialized tests to determine how many leaky oil wells are off the coast of Summerlin. News Channel reporter John Palminteri joins us live. And John, the wells, some of them are more than 100 years old. This is a significant step forward. The Summerlin beaches and near shore waters would have hundreds of oil wells back in 1895 to 1906. But years after those companies left the area or went out of business, the pipes began to leak. Our community has been left with over 200 offshore legacy oil wells here in the Summerlin oil field. An environmental problem dating back up to 125 years ago linked to abandoned oil wells off Summerlin is getting state funding to determine just how extensive it is. A check for $500,000 will pay for testing in the area, which still has leaking wells that were poorly capped decades ago. Residents have had to deal with tar balls and oily flows in the nearshore waters from these wells. Some days it's worse than others, but it doesn't go away. Using specialized equipment, some tests have already begun. This is going to let them do 20 times more. The environmental group Heal the Ocean has been providing funds for some mapping, but the next phase with state funds will be a big picture look. To really identify what's going on here, we've just been poking around in the dark. This geological study is going to be conducted here with this area in mind. However, it's going to have an impact on the entire state of California uh, to get that information and know how to best um, deploy our resources in the most accurate way. The work will study what's happening on the ocean floor and in the air to find the problem areas will also be used where other abandoned wells are known throughout the state. I've been doing air quality research for emissions from oil fields, from seeps, from dairies, and just applying that knowledge, which is all state of the art, to this problem. If this mapping and air quality project is successful here, this technology will also be used in other areas where there are abandoned wells, including in Los Angeles and Long Beach. If you consider there are wells under homes in Signal Hill and Beverly Hill, and those homes are worth millions of dollars and they have wells under them. We have to understand how to abandon these kind of wells safely. The state has allocated separate money for capping the leaking wells, and that program has been taking place using special procedures and vessels. But it will soon need to be renewed. The air and mapping project now underway will provide vital information to identify the next wells and what it will cost and where the money will come from. State Senator Monique Limon and Assembly Member Greg Hart were joined by members of the State Lands Commission who were present, and they are very interested in this research to know the extent of the wells that are leaking, uh, where they are, especially if they're near earthquake faults, and what it will cost to cap them. Reporting live in Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary. All right, thank you, John, for that story. And we know that some 